Hi, okay. Um, universal carrier first. Has now got all of its decals on. I know this lighting is not the best for you to see that. I did post pictures. Um, just wanted to give a quick review. So overall, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I haven't done some of the finer work like giving a little bit more black on the tracks and maybe the seat color I will do a little bit of that a little bit of last touch-ups very nice little kit and yes yeah, surprisingly small um, up to the point of the decals I would have said probably a 7 out of 10 build maybe um, it looks it looks quite nice from sort of 30 centimeters away but if you get really close then of course the simplicity of it becomes quite apparent but I did make a fairly big mistake with the decals but it's one I'm probably gonna get away with um, I didn't gloss the I, I decided not to coat it in a floor wax I decided to put the decals on I can uh, let's put that lamp on to see if that's gonna make a difference a little bit bright there I decided to put the decals on um, I wouldn't call it a heavy mat but it was matte enough that I know those decals can come off very easily even if I seal that now with a another coat it, it just means that that layer between the decal and the paint is just um, a very flaky one so to speak I don't have silvering um, they are not loose but they are about a 3 out of 10 on stability of decals now I'm gonna get away with it because this model is just gonna sit on the shelf it's you know it's gonna get no tension no rubbing even if I touch them I mean I've already done a little bit of weathering. well I've done weathering over the decals um, but that I, I, I like to have a bit more permanence in that oh, there's the, the little lights you're gonna get that little tail lights um okay that's that one this one gloss surface the decals are on quite nicely they are a rather stiff decal so I'm assuming that's brittling with age and on the wings they were fine but these side ones where they need to bend over that tail boom that was a little bit of an issue um, but anyway coming on nicely so I need to get ready to make a canopy which means that I need to get ready to mount these two little parts onto something quite stiff because I'm going to use some packaging clear plastic Okay, right. So I've just done a um, a layout of the six paints given in this starter box for the vampire. Um, I was going to paint them on camera, but um, touching them and and handling each one is really not not easy and not ideal. So to start with, I mean, these little tubs are so finicky to hold. And I, I'm always thinking of, you know, this is probably given, given to kids. I would hate to see how many of these paint messes are out there because, you know, to, to open this tub and the likelihood of tipping and everything. Um, so I really feel that Airfix has done a... 
like I, I feel like this is a marketing thing more than helping any modeler. Um, the paint itself, as someone in the comments uh, stated, they're good enough to paint small parts and in some cases area painting might not be too bad. So quality wise for a, you know, a starter set acry uh, acrylic, uh, okay, um, I wouldn't use them ever on anything but only because this tub is more annoying than, than the paint is bad. Um, technically, I could use the black, could use the silvers, the aluminium. That yellow looks a little bit of a off yellow. The, they, they were upside down in the packaging, which is very weird. Now, I mean, I know they don't know how, how it might be stored, but almost all of the granular material of the paint was in the lids, which means that the poor kids that get this not only have to open this without spilling, they then have to, which I did, try and try and hold this level and then dig out from the top and get it to fall in and then mix it in. I would say likelihood of success for a for a you know a starter builder a beginning builder uh, i'm just going to say that it, it was just going to be a mess to clean up um they, they were not dried so that was in their favor these ones were not dried um but almost every single one of them had all of the heavy granular material the 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 more solid settled part of the paint in the lids. So, um, plus nothing to hold these. Um, having this on the table and wanting to use it is, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know what they could have provided, but something very stable so that you could open it, um, you know, put, put, Put your brush in, wipe your brush off against the side and not have this thing tip out. So while while the paints are about equivalent to a average quality acrylic for for brush painting, not for airbrushing, um, the success of supplying this as a starter paint set, I, I really rate exceptionally low. Um, I'd say they're almost more beneficial for just being an art, a little art painting set. If they had a, a board which you could slot all of those paints into, get them nice and tight in there. But I'm going to guess that more than 50% of kids' paints just got tipped out because it's difficult to handle them. Okay, that was just a quick catch up. Um... So one of the upcoming ones is going to be on remaking a vac, well, not remaking a vac form, making a vac form, remaking the canopy. Um, let me just think what else is upcoming. I will be doing the next little tiger moth. And I will be doing it with um, its rigging lines. Now the, so you get different riggings, those that, oh, and I've done different ones, ones that go into the wing. So I drilled a little hole so that you could loop your line through the wing. The tiger moths are braced on the strut, so I'm not going to do any holes into the wing. I do need to figure out on those tiny little struts how to handle a nice easy manner of doing a line. And my Thoughts are not to do individual lines. I want to do the method that I used previously, which is a unfixed loop, which goes through one entire section of the wing. So it goes across, up, back, down, and back, something like that. Been a while since I did that. So it only gets glued at two points, and your tension 
ensures that all of the lines are at equal tension. Um, but I'll see how we handle that on the tiger moth. So anyway, that's that's due. And then of course the um, just got to do the weathering on this. Shooting star undercarriage, uh, undercarriage bays, and glue, glue the parts in so that one will be um, in progress soon. Okay, just a quick one. Cheers.